A relationship with a sociopath can be one of the most devastating experiences you will ever endure. Sociopaths are master manipulators who use charm, deception, and emotional abuse to control and exploit those around them. In today's video, we're gonna explore how to identify a sociopath and the signs that you might be in a relationship with one, and most importantly, how to heal from the emotional and psychological trauma that they leave behind. So what is a sociopath? Well, it's someone who has antisocial personality disorder, ASPD, a mental health condition characterized by a pervasive pattern of disregard for the rights and feelings of others. Sociopaths lack empathy, just like a narcissist. They have a tendency to violate social norms and often engage in deceitful, manipulative, and harmful behaviors without feeling guilty or remorseful. Whilst not all sociopaths are violent or criminal, their lack of empathy and manipulative tendencies can make them extremely dangerous in relationships. They are skilled at identifying and exploiting the vulnerabilities of others, and they often leave a trail of emotional and psychological destruction in their wake. Sign number one, superficial charm and manipulation. One of the most common traits of a sociopath is this superficial charm. They are often charismatic, confident, and persuasive, making it easy for them to win people over. However, this charm is often a facade, and it's designed to manipulate and control those around them. In the early stages of a relationship, a sociopath may shower you with attention, affection, and flattery, making you feel special and valued, which is otherwise known as a love bombing. And again, it's very, very similar to narcissistic dynamics. And it's a tactic that's used to quickly establish trust and emotional dependence. And once they have you hooked, they begin to reveal their true nature, manipulating, deceiving, and controlling you to meet their own needs. Sign number two, just like a narcissist, they will have a lack of empathy and they will not have any remorse. Sociopaths are incapable of feeling empathy for others, which means they don't experience guilt, remorse, or concern for the well-being of others. This lack of empathy allows them to engage in harmful behaviors without any regard for the impact on their victims. So if you're in a relationship with a sociopath, you may notice that they have little to no reaction to the pain or the suffering of others. They may well dismiss or minimize your feelings. They may make cruel or insensitive comments or show indifference to situations that would normally elicit concern or sympathy. Sign number three is pathological lying. Sociopaths are notorious for their ability to lie and deceive with ease. They may well lie about their past, their intentions, or even small details of their daily life. And these lies are often told with such confidence and such conviction that it can be very, very difficult to distinguish the truth from fiction. And in a relationship, this pathological lying can create a constant state of confusion and mistrust. You may find yourself questioning your own perceptions, doubting your instincts, and feeling constantly on edge, never knowing what's true and what's not. And over time, this will actually erode your self-esteem and your sense of reality. Sign number four, manipulation and control. These are central to a sociopath's behavior. They may well use tactics such as gaslighting, guilt tripping, and emotional manipulation to maintain power over you and keep you dependent on them. Gaslighting in particular is a common tactic used by sociopaths as it is by narcissists, uh, which makes you doubt your own reality. I've done a video on this. I've mentioned it in videos before as well. Please check through the playlists, have a look for it. I'll try and pop it up here. So what they'll do is they will deny things they've said or they've done. They'll twist your words or accuse you of being overly sensitive or paranoid. And this really can lead to feelings of confusion, self-doubt, and a sense of losing control over your own thoughts and emotions. Sign number five, exploitation and lack of responsibility. Sociopaths are skilled at exploiting others for their own gain. They may take advantage of your kindness, your generosity, or your trust, using you to fulfill their needs without giving anything in return. They often lack a sense of responsibility, they blame others for their mistakes or failures, and they refuse to take accountability for their own actions. In a relationship, this exploitation can leave you feeling drained, used, and taken for granted. You might even find yourself constantly giving without receiving or feeling like you're always the one making the sacrifices or the compromises while the sociopath continues to take without reciprocating. So how do you heal from a relationship with a sociopath? It's, uh, it's going to be a challenging process, not going to lie to you. 
but it is possible with time, support and self-compassion. And I'm gonna give you some steps uh, to help you on your healing journey. Step number one, as always, accept the reality of the situation. This is the first step in healing. Accepting this reality, it means acknowledging that you were in a relationship with a sociopath and that their behavior was not your fault. This is very important. And it's important to understand that sociopaths are skilled manipulators who do prey on the vulnerabilities of others and that you were targeted because of your strengths, not your weaknesses. Accepting the reality of the situation can be painful, but it is a necessary step in moving forward and beginning the healing process. Step number two, absolutely cut ties. Go no contact. This is one of the most important steps you can do in healing with a relationship from a sociopath or a narcissist, whatever. You're gonna to have to cut ties and go no contact. And, and this means severing all forms of communication with the sociopath, no phone calls, no texts, no social media interactions, and no in-person contact. Going no contact is absolutely essential for protecting yourself from further manipulation and allowing yourself the space to heal. If going no contact is not possible due to shared responsibilities, such as children and stuff like that, it really is important to establish strict boundaries and limit contact as much as possible. Step number three, seek professional support. Healing from this type of relationship can be incredibly difficult and it's really important to seek professional support to help you through the process. A therapist can provide a safe space for you to process your emotions, work through any trauma, and develop strategies for rebuilding your life. Therapy will also help you identify any patterns or vulnerabilities that may have contributed to the relationship and provide you with the tools that you need in order to protect yourself in future relationships. Step number four, rebuild your sense of self because a relationship with a sociopath can leave you feeling lost, broken, and unsure of who you are. I mean, relationship breakups do that in general, but one with a sociopath is really gonna do it. It's gonna be amplified big time. So rebuilding your sense of self is a crucial part of the healing process. And this involves reconnecting with your interests, your passions, your values, and rediscovering the person that you were before the relationship started and also the person that you are now. Engage in activities that bring you joy, fulfillment, surround yourself with supportive people who uplift and encourage you. Practice your self-compassion and your positive self-talk. Grab those negative thoughts and that devaluing stuff that you do in your head. Grab it, throw it out, reframe it, and remind yourself that you are worthy of love, respect, and happiness. Step number five, educate yourself because Educating yourself about sociopathy and personality disorders is gonna be nothing but empowering and it's gonna help you make sense of your experience. You're going to see what was going on and, and, and what had happened to you and why. Understanding the traits and the tactics of the sociopath will provide clarity and validation and will help you recognize red flags in future relationships. And there's a, there's a ton of resources available. There's books, there's articles, there's Google, there's YouTube, there's all of that stuff, support groups, and they're all gonna provide valuable information. You've gotta select the information, but, um, and it's gonna support you as you navigate the healing process. Educate yourself about your experience. It's gonna give you wisdom. Knowledge on its own is not wisdom. Experience on its own is not particularly wisdom either, unless there's learning involved. Once you add in the education, then you end up with uh, wisdom and then that wisdom will help you as you move forward in your life. So to conclude this brief overview, the relationship with a sociopath uh, can be one of the most challenging and traumatic experiences you are ever going to face if you're unfortunate enough to end up in a relationship with one and break away, unfortunately break away. But healing is possible, so you need to accept the reality of the situation, cut ties, go no contact, seek professional support, you're gonna need it, rebuilding your sense of self, educating yourself, gain wisdom, you can begin the journey towards recovery and reclaim your life. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe. Leave any comments, questions, experiences below. Um, I love reading them and I endeavor to answer all of the questions asked of me. Just remind yourself and always remember that you do deserve to be in a relationship where you are treated with love respect and care and as always until i see you next time please take really good care of yourselves adios